Okay, I'm going to show you today how to investigate transpiration. I'd like to remind you what transpiration is. It's the evaporation of water from leaves. And also it's important that you remember that transpiration is actually to do with water moving through leaves and out of stomata down a water potential gradient. Whenever water moves in biology, water potential gradients are involved. Now then, a photometer is quite a simple piece of apparatus, but rather tricky to set up and rather tricky to get it working properly. Okay, in its simplest form, it's actually a glass tube. Here is a capillary tube with a scale on it. At one end, we insert a leafy cutting from a plant. Okay, it has to be a nice healthy leafy cutting. So here I've got a piece of laurel, which will be inserted in there. The whole of the apparatus is full of water, that's represented by the brown here. There's also a syringe or some form of reservoir. This is simply to refill the apparatus after you've used it in an experiment. Now, the idea here is that as the plant loses water by transpiration, a continuous stream of water should be drawn up through the apparatus and then out into the atmosphere through the plant. The rate of transpiration can therefore be measured by measuring the time it takes for the capillary to move a certain distance or, you know, you could do the opposite and measure the distance moved in a particular time. And that will actually give you a rough guide of the rate of transpiration. Now, unfortunately, the photometer is a little bit tricky to set up and there are a number of precautions that must be taken if we're going to obtain valid results. Now remember, valid results are results that have only been affected by the variable being investigated, not other variables, you know, like changes in temperature, changes in light intensity that are going on while you're investigating something else. Now, with a photometer, in order to get valid results, first of all, we've got to make sure that our plant shoot is freshly cut and very healthy. So as soon as you cut that, you stand it in a beaker of water, and before you set up the apparatus, you actually cut that underneath water. Now, that's the second point here, but actually it's quite fiddly, because the whole of the apparatus should really be submerged in a, in a sink or a bucket of water, the leafy shoot should then be cut, freshly cut under the water, and the whole apparatus should be set up under water. This is actually to stop air bubbles from accessing the apparatus or from being drawn in to the xylem vessels there at the bottom of the, the stem, okay? Because they will actually break the, you know, the column of water and interfere with the rate of transpiration. So it's got to be a healthy shoot, it's got to be cut underwater to stop bubbles from entering and the whole apparatus has got to be set up underwater to prevent bubbles from entering the apparatus. Um, the leaves have got to be dry before you actually use the photometer because otherwise water is simply going to block the stomata mainly on the underside of leaves and prevent evaporation or transpiration. Now, another thing about this apparatus, you've got to make sure, and you can see all these bits of blue tack and putty and things that have been put on over the years, you have to make sure the whole thing is airtight, okay? And where the chute is inserted, you need to seal around it very carefully with Vaseline to make sure that when the water is being drawn up through the plant, there's no air being drawn in from outside. Remember, once you've actually finished a run of this, an investigation, you can actually just open a tap or use your syringe to refill, in other words, to push the bubble back to the beginning. So that, in its simple form, is a potometer, potometer. Okay, now we can use this to investigate quite a few different independent variables, you know, factors that may affect the rate of transpiration. Um, we could vary the temperature. You know, that's not easy to do in a, in a science lab, but, you know, it can be done. Light intensity is very easy to investigate because we can use a simple bench lamp, okay, to actually vary the, the light intensity falling on the, the leaves, okay. And, you know, if, you've, is that, if that's all you've got, a bench lamp, you can simply use a meter ruler to actually vary your light intensity by moving the lamp at different distances from the, the leafy shoot there. Another thing you could investigate, though a little more tricky, is humidity. Set the thing up in different humidity conditions. For that, you might have to sort of 
construct a plastic bag or a bell jar around and, you know, vary humidity conditions in there. Air movement is something that's easy to investigate because for that you could actually just use a hairdryer, you know, at different distances from the leaf or at different settings. Okay, and hopefully if you followed all these precautions, you should actually be able to get some valid results that are, are a fairly decent indication of the rate of transpiration.